Terrence, how are you today? How are things going? I'm really good. How are you this morning? I'm great. I'm great. It's so great to see you. I've 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 had the opportunity to interview you so many times over the years. I am a huge fan. Um, so I want to start with this one. I love the fact that when you choose something to do, you love mixing it up. You know, you don't just stay in one kind of genre. This one, I think you were born to play George Fuller. What do you think? I love you for that. I, I, Cause I didn't know how to play George. That's what I loved about him. I didn't know, like um, Orson, the director, he really wanted George to be really strong. You know, like um, at first, it was one scene that was written where when I'm interviewing Piper that I tell her that if you're, you know, you can ask me for anything, but if you steal from me, I'm going to kill your children. <laughs> you know, that's how, that's yeah. who George, <laughs> that's who George was in Orson's mind. Right. And I couldn't, I, I softened George up. I softened George a lot. He had the heart to, to be hard, but he couldn't, didn't have the spirit to maintain that, 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 that roughness. He was just a softy at heart. Right. Okay. So I, you know, I'm watching this and I'm thinking, what an homage, you know, here's a guy who loves his theater, loves his theater so much. He's got to save that theater no matter what. Okay. And I'm thinking back, you know, about you, Terrence and going, when you were a little boy, you know, what was it? What movie was it? What theater do you remember sitting in with your parents, your dad, your mom, whoever took you there to make you become the actor you are today? There had to have been something that drove your passion when you were little. Um, I believe it was watching Chitty Chitty Bang Bang for the first time at the drive-in. And just that tinkerer, you know, he became me because I'm a, I'm a bit of a of a backyard scientist and gar gar garage scientist in a sense, big sense, ninety seven yeah. and things of that nature. Um, I love I love that aspect of Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, but just the idea of them going and flying in this motor car that never flew, right? Father and the two kids and then the new girlfriend that's sitting in the driveway pretending that they were flying over Germany and saving children and all of that. The idea of, of pretending, the idea of creating your reality based upon the heart that you have and what you want, that meant a lot. That yeah. meant, I think that affected me because I wanted to be a singer and I wanted to be a tinkerer and I wanted to to act out and do all of those things that they did in that movie. Chitty Chitty Bang Bang changed my life, you know? Yeah, but you have managed to do all this stuff. You know, you are a musician, you are an actor, you are into the sciences, you are everything. How do you manage to, you know, to balance everything and keep yourself kind of zen about it? <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm always looking for um for the final place to fit. You know, and what's interesting, the final place that you typically fit is in the casket. That's mm -hmm. your final place. Well, come on, let let's not go there, my friend. But <laughs> I mean, no, but it's a bad thing. We gotta remember that that casket is just it's just a refolding. Yeah. And you know, it's a refolding, it's the planting of the flower of the seed that will now germinate and become another flower. There's no death in that. So it's, I'm always looking for that final place to fit in this world so that I can grow into a, a better flower in the next one. So yeah. with the kids that you're picking, you're trying to find, uh, uh, you want to get them into a good place. And, you know, I tried the bad characters before. I tried to play the bad guy before. And like I said in the past, in previous interview, you the karma still follows you right from it it doesn't just walk away it doesn't stop when they say say cut and that's a wrap that karma from that character stays with you the mental attitude stays with you and um the coloring you know that pours out from your dna falling as you're walking by you know you end up coloring everything around you so now it's become important to play characters that are even if they're troubled like george you know he yeah. killed a in the movie that he's got to pay for karmically but he killed him for the right reason you know? right 
Yeah. And that's, it just has to balance itself karmically or it's not worth doing. Yeah. 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 I, I, I get it. I get where you're going here. Um, and, and in this film too, as George, you know, meets his, his hero, his cinematic hero. I mean, I love the scenes with you and Dolph Lundgren. I have to say, I think that you should be an honorary expendable. I think you need to be in the next one. <laughs> I love you. I was so worried that that was going to come off so corny that people wasn't going to dig it. But you could tell, I really am a fan of Dolph. I, like I said, when I was 16, I had his poster in my room, you know, of him as Rocky, you know, as, as Drago. Yeah. Yes. I was Drago. I wanted to be Drago. You know, I got up and fought like Drago, Work, worked on my jab like Drago. Um, so him coming in and being being my my hero in the movie, it, that was real. I didn't have to pretend. I didn't have to pr act like I was had affection for him, you know, or worshipped him. You know, there was a little boy in me that was just grinning from ear to ear that I was with Drago. Did yeah. you tell him that that you had his poster? Um, no, I didn't tell him. Oh but I come on! You know, he, I think it, he would have appreciated it. I sort of. The last, when that last scene, when I said the closest I came to telling him was when I told him at the end, the last scene that thank you for being the greatest hero a little boy could ever want. Yeah, uh, no, that yeah. was that was my way of telling him that because it wasn't written, but I, you know, Orson kind of kept it. Yeah. And, it's it showed it really did show i have to say you know now you're hearing this story because it was just fun to watch you two together and and see you see you in this action mode i i, I really really enjoyed it i was um, hoping you wouldn't walk away people would stay with it just 10 minutes longer long enough for it to get you yeah yeah it did it did no i i got a couple things before we wrap up but you know you you have been very vocal about after you finished working on certain TV series, which I truly love. I, so thank you for that. But you've said that you didn't want to act anymore. And now we see you back in this. What kind of drew you what drew, drew you back in? Like, I, I know that you can't give this up because it's truly COVID, your passion. COVID gave, brought me back into it. You think you, because you got to think the reason that we're striking right now yeah. is we haven't received the monies for the work that we've done. Right. And there exposing and stealing so infringing so many more of our rights um i should have made enough money with empire to where i never had to work again yeah uh, they didn't do that they actually took my image from hustle and flow and used it as the logo for empire fox stole it from hustle and flow from paramount and use wow. it I'm, I'm in arbitration right now about it and they've lost all their records about it. I mean, the, what we were doing inside the movie is pretty much what's really taking place, you know, with the theaters and the studios. The studio is not respecting the actor, which is the theater, yeah. you know. They're taking away all of the businesses. And so we had to go back to work in order to survive. So if I'm going to be forced to go back into this stuff, um, then let me make a statement with it. So we found a really good film that we can make a strong statement for community, for bringing back culture, bringing back the tradition, bringing back the conservative nature. When you have a theater as your center, everyone always will come back and pass through that, that theater. Even going to make a decision, they pass by the theater on their way to make that decision. That theater influences them because there's somebody that influenced them as a child or a grandparent or something that that steadies you when mm. you see landmarks around your house you're like uh, around your life you respond to those individual landmarks and that's the thing that gives us our principles these landmarks these milestones that are supposed to always be there to protect us and to guide us and when we remove the theater, when we remove the the dentist and when we, when we no longer respect the lawyers and stuff in our community that has set the foundation of our community, we lose the integrity of the community and then everybody, it turns into a quagmire, which yeah. our community are today, a moral quagmire where there's no sense of right or wrong, no foundation. And so we're looking for films that can bring back those traditions, those principles, even if they are 
seemingly barbaric to all of the liberties that everybody would like to have. We still need the structure. Yeah, we need 100%. Yeah, I, 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 it was in my notes. Meta, this movie is a metaphor for moviegoers today. I, I, I totally, hundred percent, ag agree with you. And just to wrap it up, I have to ask you on a personal note. Um, like I said, I, I love watching you, whether it's on the big screen, small screen. I, I, you know, I, I'm a TV addict, and I watched all your series and everything, of course. And, and uh, I have to ask you, do you prefer to work? on a series or a movie, like where a series where you can really flesh out a character, sometimes, you know, you can go many, many seasons. But what what is your preference, Terrence? Well, if I was controlling the series and the d direction of the series, and a series could be fun. But the problem that comes with the series, they're looking for formula. And that formula will change from season to season, from week to week, and the storyline. There's so many people that can influence that storyline, so many different agendas that can affect that storyline to where it doesn't maintain the the true purpose of what, you know, you may start screaming because something was biting you, and then you end up screaming because somebody, some, something somebody did years ago and it's displaced anger, mm. you know, something's biting you, you respond to that, you want to respond to that, but you respond in this strange way because there's so many piled on problems associated with it and they end up changing the storyline, you know, to fit something that happened to them 20 years ago when the problem is the mosquito that bit you just now or the snake that bit you right now. And I'm sure that's a weird analogy, but I'm saying it's the displacement of pain yeah. and tension and how we deal with something that's, that's off today. We don't do it. And, and what I loved about George, he's, he's a simple old fashioned John Wayne kind of a guy that, yeah, I could go to jail for this. I could lose my lose my theater for this, but I, it's time to fight back because I've called the police enough times. Nobody's coming to do anything. I've got to do something myself to save my family or the family of the theater is gone. Yeah. I hope I far around the block for that. Yeah. I know I, I didn't take yeah. my Adderall this morning, so my mind is like, ooh. Oh, no, no, no. You're good. You're good. It, listen, like I said, it's always a pleasure to have the opportunity to speak with you. Thank you so much for your time today. And it really was a lot of fun to watch you in this film. So best of luck with it, Terrence. And uh, come visit us in Toronto sometime, okay? <laughs> we tried to. We wanted to come to the film festival and then it was... It's it's on a strike so we yeah we, i know i i understand i understand but i appreciate your time today via zoom but i'll, I'll take what i can get thank you so much thank you so much okay terrence have a good one bye-bye